A local organization combines the art of dance, painting, and music to help abuse children in our area. The Three Rivers Art Center for Kids gives Fort Wayne kids a chance to fight abuse. Terry Doran, the founder of TRACK, is here to talk about the organization. Good morning, Terry. Hi, good morning, Gina. Thank How are you? you? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you. Important, important cause in our community. Talk about the focus behind TRACK. Well, the focus is child abuse, and child abuse in Indiana has one of the highest rates in the United States. The United States has the highest rates of child abuse of any industrialized country, so it's obvious there's a problem. We have a lot of social agencies, social services. TRAC is not competing or interfering with them. Mm -hmm. TRAC's mission is to give the community a platform. You know, a lot of people see a problem and they think, Gee, I'd like to help, but I don't know what I can do. But how do, we do it? Track that we, that's what we're trying to address. And <clears throat> it's kids helping kids as well. You know, and, and it's it's for all kids, but with an emphasis on abused children. So you started it's a new program. You started this about a year ago. Correct. Um, and you have different events around the community, but you want to make classes available. Exactly. Can you that, that's the ultimate goal. We, want, uh, we, we say we use the power of art to combat child abuse. We've had uh, the Dance Collective on a show mm -hmm. a couple times, Fort Wayne Ballet, Fort Wayne Youth Theater, uh, a lot of different artists. And right there shows the support of people coming out and saying, I use my talent for a cause. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, we want to take that to a space probably to start with maybe somebody could share a space in other words they have an extra room or they could let us use a room for once a week and then eventually get a building we'd like to have a building downtown be part of the riverfront and uh, the downtown development and have a garden and a playground and all these things but that's down the road but yeah uh, right now we're doing shows to raise awareness can you talk about the show that's coming up in a, a few weeks absolutely uh, it's for my brother Rick and Rick was abused uh, my family uh, suffered abuse that's the inspiration for starting track frankly and my own sense of helplessness and then uh, you know one thing Gina you realize is when you do this one of the worst feelings when you are abused is feeling there's nobody else it's yeah. only me yeah. therefore there's something wrong with me but you realize there's lots of kids and uh, there's nothing wrong with the child it's an adult taking advantage of power and that that's what we're trying trying to address and my brother Rick He's a talented songwriter, singer. He did a concert at Artlink way back in the 80s, and in 2000, he took his life. Uh, he's only 47 years old, I'm sorry and that was a that. direct result of abuse suffered growing up. You know, our mother took her life, and Rick was only nine years old, and she was uh, in pretty bad shape. You mm -hmm. know, abusing. Uh, she started out a beautiful mother when I was little. I'm the oldest, but. Uh, I don't know what happened to her. But, you know, when you're a child and people tell us, oh, she was sick. Yeah. Like, that doesn't help that our mean? feelings. Right. Yeah, and what does that mean? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Like, you're being yelled at. Now, in our case, it was almost all mental and neglect, not having meals, being screamed at constantly. And so that neglect takes a lot of different forms. Sure. And to answer your question, uh, May 3rd, at uh, CS3 downtown on South Calhoun Street, we're doing a concert. And this is another example of artists in the community. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a whole lot of singers, and both of my brothers are musicians, my other two brothers. So they're all joining together, and they're singing songs that Rick sang in the concert at Artlink. I've been wanting to do this since 2000, since he died. So this is really... Yes, special. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming in and starting this organization and giving young people an outlet. There's that information one more time. It's at 1915 South Calhoun Street. It's a tribute to singer-songwriter Rick Dor Doran. Um, and it's from 2 to 5.30, and it's May 3rd. May 3rd, All yes. All right. Thank you so much for coming oh. in. And one more question. It's people helping people, um, and you also need a place. So how should they get in contact you? Uh, 
quickly track uh, in either Three Rivers Art Center for Kids okay. slash Facebook okay. or track Fort Wayne at gmail.com. Thank you. We'll be right back.